how it goes. Foreign cars to a box. I'm earmarked to be the special benchmark. I'm special floating over Clark Street with the vet on commercial. Hippies congregate and debate if it's him. Hair flowing under 59, 50 brim. Now it's 4:25 a.m. I gotta make the ultimate decision, man. It's so hard to say when the king. What's up, kids? This is Axiom for another exciting edition of Grounded TV. And to start off, we have a very interesting interview with the mustached enigma, Ron Contour. How are you doing? This is Ron Contour. I, f I figured, you know, I just flew in from overseas and we're here in Vancouver and I want to show you a couple of my digs, you know, the, my haunts and stuff, the places and things like that, you know, places where I like to go. So I figured since I'm short on supply, I would take you record shopping and then I've got to get some wheels. So, come along, let's do this. We're gonna go to Neptune Records. I hope that they don't mind your presence here. Check me out. Without a doubt. Bar, make pancakes, bar. Make fans, make bar some damn crepes. And got new black drapes coming. What we got here. I'm not really sure. See, I always check the dates and stuff because the dates is an integral part of record shopping, you know? When you're looking for old stuff to flip samples and all that. And then my cousin, everybody knows my cousin Mocha makes a lot of my stuff. But the album that's out right now is uh, something that was done by the producer Factor. I'm just gonna take, you know, I'm gonna take a chance. Oh yes, the great first Ron Contour album debacle. Hmm. Well, in 1999, Mocha helped me put together this album. Um, and we thought we could get away with a little trick, you know, a little trickery and all that sort of thing. So we released this album as Mocha Only Is Ron Contour. And because, you know, we looked similar and we did even more then because I didn't have the stash and all that sort of thing. Um, we just released it as Mocha Only Is Ron Contour, you know, on Underworld Records. and. Um, you know, it did pretty good, it came out to a claim. We didn't sell a lot of records, but you know, um, it enabled me to get on the road and you know, first show off my wares and all that sort of thing. And things like that and those sort of things and all kind of things like that. Yeah, but it, you know, later on it came to haunt me, or it came to haunt Mocha more so because everybody thinks that we're the same character. They think we're the same person, but we're not the same person at all. You know, you could ask me mom, you know, I'm off a different ilk, you know. Rap is a beach, practice your preach, Ron Con reach Sandy Saw with with some beats in the border bump, looking at the bump. But as far as the history, you know I did the one album in nineteen ninety nine, you know. Aside of that, then I took a little break, you know, I wasn't doing anything for a long time. Um, and basically, you know, in in I was well I was away, I was in the prairies for a while. I was keeping I was doing beekeeping. <clears throat> beekeeping actually, you know, I was very interested in insects and all that sort of stuff. And just normal sex too. Anything to do with sex actually. But insects in particular, you know, I liked insects so I decided to try my hand at, you know, beekeeping and I was doing that for a while. I was just having a lark, you know, and then I decided to return to rhyming because, you know, once you bit in the music wheel, you know, it's always comes back and it wants to roll under you. So I came back in uh, 2000 and 2008, actually, you know, and I did this album called Hot Dog. What he's trying to tell you is he's the other whistler, you know, not to be confused with the original whistler, because there's a lot of different whistlers out there, you know. He's the other one. He's, he wasn't the first one, he's, he's the other one. If I had a message to the world, I would just say that, you know, always take the opportunity to grasp and seize everything that seems to appeal to you, you know what I'm saying? Like, do what you want to do, you know, as long as you're not stepping on other people's toes and stuff, then, you know, all the power to you. Before anything else, I'm a mind of much love It starts the race, yeah, just like the gun does The price to pay is the drugs they pump us Have a nice day, with money they fund us But money's a funny thing, the study of what it brings Proves it moves smooth with invisible wings Wings, wings Welcome back, this episode's Ish We Like is decisive of Urbnet Records Check this out a story never told, a page never read, a pen in a cap, with ink never pressed on a page in a pad, with nothing on its sheets but blank, 
space waiting to be stained waiting for the paint waiting for the blues waiting for the pain waiting for the bruises to abuse it we're all two steps closer to the mile that can only be walked in our shoes if we choose it not too long ago sid went down to the carded art show which is a pretty interesting idea uh, a little nostalgic, brings you back to your childhood if you collected hockey cards or trading cards of any kind. Um, the idea is pretty simple, I'll let you check it out for yourself. I am Chris Benson and this is uh, the Jacana Contemporary Art Gallery on Granville Street at Broadway. Yeah, my name's Jim Hanley, we're doing our, our, our uh, annual show called Carded, it's a trading card show. The really quick story is um, we've done an annual event called uh, Hot One Inch Action for six years now. And we wanted to kind of extend the idea to um, to trading cards. So uh, we, we're uh, it's essentially it's a trading card show. We get artists to submit uh, designs. We pick the best 50 and then um, produce them as trading cards. My number one card was I really wanted Robot versus Unicorn because I thought it was fabulous. So uh, I traded ruthlessly to get it. And in the end, um, my friend got it for me. I'm Shauna Eve. I love Vancouver. I moved here in 2003. I'm very attracted to painting anything that's of the ocean persuasion, sharks, um, octopus, eels, pretty much. Anything that swims is uh, kind of like my connection to expressing myself. My name is Reese. Uh, Reese Edwards. I think it's excellent. It's absolutely excellent because it, it, it fosters community. You know, people interact with each other. They interact with the art. It, it's it's a, it's a, it's a form of dialogue, and it's much more. Uh, it's like a, it's it's a party. You know, it's it's fun. It's entertaining. Where everyone enjoys the art. Everyone gets to see the work of uh, local artists. Caroline Weaver, and I have a lot of the number one cards. I haven't even gotten close enough to the walls to like see all the cards, but I got some really good ones. These are my keepers. And David Beckett is sick. That one's so sick, right? Mao. Bozo Mao. This is one of a series of Mao. So uh, this is Bozo Mao. And uh, he was um, a very funny guy, actually. The main idea was essentially we wanted to get people together uh, in a gallery situation with uh, new, uh, uh, new art by uh, uh, Vancouver artists. Find a way for them to interact uh, with the artists, the art, and themselves. Usually an art show is uh, everybody standing around looking at the art, maybe staying in their little groups of friends, but here all those walls are broken down and everybody interacts with each other and meets complete strangers and hangs out and has a good time. Um, so my name is Penny Lane Shen and we're at Jacana Gallery, Jacana Contemporary Gallery. I'm the curator of it. My hot card, it is, uh, it is the one with a, an emo looking boy crying tears into a PBR. And I just think that's such such a good metaphor for hipster culture. I just got here, but uh, I do want my friend Nathan Thomas's card. It's, um, it's this rocker guy with really cool shades. He kind of looks like Sebastien Tellier if he was a trucker. Great, lots of artists have showed up and um, a lot of people coming through the doors, checking it out, interacting, trading, yeah. having a good time. The, the gallery is a bit on the tight side, but everybody seems to be having a good time anyway. So. It seems to be working out pretty well. That's that. Thanks for tuning in. You done been grounded. Peace. You won't hear me crying, falling from the clouds. Hands pressed on my window. So leave me on the ground. I don't wanna say goodbye. Leave me on the ground. I don't wanna say goodbye. Leave me on the ground.